Peck is asking, how do we find pre-foreclosure properties? So Kay, there are, it, it depends. <laughs> um, obviously when the lender is foreclosing, if they've already started the process with an attorney, then they've got to advertise that for sale. So in your local market, each county has what's called a, a record where a, a organ, let's see, the county organ of record. That's what I'm trying to say. The county organ of record. So that means that the county, and you can call the clerk of court of your county and say, what is the official newspaper of the county where they publish uh, notices of foreclosure? And they'll tell you where to look. And sometimes you can get that information online and uh, you just read because they've got tons and tons of them um, in those. And, uh, and then you can follow up on those properties. Sometimes I tell you, trying to buy foreclosure properties is kind of challenging because many of them do get cured. The people come up with the money or they file bankruptcy. So a lot of research can be done on foreclosures and you come up short, but you can make a lot of money with them. Now, I personally, and this is what I teach, is I like them pre-foreclosure or post-foreclosure, but I don't like them right there at the steps because at the steps, there's a lot of unknowns. If you have not been in the house, there's things that you're not aware of. So I like it if you can get in that house and, and be conscious of what the uh, repairs are and what's going on with that house. So better is to get with that customer, <laughs> that person that lives in that house and see if you can work out a deal to, you know, maybe take that arrearage. That's the reason they're being foreclosed on, take that and put it on the back end of the loan. Uh, and banks are quite flexible these days. They are getting a lot of government money. They're getting a lot of COVID money. They're making deals. Uh, not like the old days. Uh, so we'll see how long this lasts, but right now uh, it's a pretty good opportunity for you to be able to somehow work out the deal. Now, Kay, what I suggest, and I know you're a real estate agent, what I suggest is uh, that you call with the seller on the phone to the bank and you be a financial advisor working with Joneses to see if you can help them work things out with the bank. And if so, they won't have to file bankruptcy. Uh, so just kind of throw that out there. <laughs> it might not be a discussion item for the seller. In other words, not, they might not be planning to file bankruptcy, but it's, it's a good discussion item when you're working with the bank. <laughs> 